I'm here with Lois Green, the matriarch of the Green Family Wrestling Dynasty, to discuss the family's wrestling history. Damien is a current all-time uh, win leader for the Jeff's Wrestling Program. Can you tell me a little bit about Damien? Yeah, um, Damien started when he was about three years old. Uh, started with the February Mat Men, and uh, his dad was there, Dusty, uh, to teach him how to take down, um, you know, the basic of wrestling. And tell me a little about Dusty. Uh, Dusty's my oldest son. He was he was a Fairbury Jeff also. He wrestled uh, when he was younger. We lived out west, and uh, we uh, was uh, part of the uh, Holdridge Dusters. Dusty did very well. He was a first place winner too, and uh, and uh, my other children also wrestled. And I see Cody was a wrestler as well. Yeah, Cody was. Uh, he wrestled two. He was the heavier weight. He wrestled two fifteen. Um, when he was growing up, he was very tough to beat. Um, at he at seventh grade and eighth grade here at Fairbury, he was undefeated, and then he went on to high school. And um, his freshman year, he missed going to state by one point, which kind of hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Um, but then he, uh, you know, he had a really good coach, Coach Cabrera, and uh, <clears throat> pushed him hard. And his sophomore year, he made it to state. Um, I think he got um, a third at districts that year. And then his junior year, he went, uh, got second at districts that year and went to state. And then his senior year, he got first, and he was our district champ, and also he was the, our conference champ, too. Um, he made it, you know, like I said, all three years to uh, state. Um, he was in the, you know, he, he uh, had some health issues his senior year, and uh, he was in and out of the hospital, and then, uh, but he still, he kept a drive. So tell me about you, because... Uh you're in a unique position um, as a grandmother of the champion here. How does that make you feel? Now you're really going to make me cry. <laughs> very proud. Damon works very hard. Not even, you know, on the mat and off the mat. You know, he keeps his grades up. He, um, I never have to wake him up. He's always, he knows that he has to do this. He knows he has to be up. He has to go, you know, to practice every day. He he keeps that schedule, you know. When you're in wrestling, it's all about keeping that schedule, going to practice, going to weightlifting. Uh, even in the summer times, uh, Damien was hardly even home this last summer. He went to Maine the year before that. He went to uh, Fargo. And um, he wrestled on the USA Nebraska team. Um, you know, it's it's a year-round sport, and you have to keep going if you want to be at the top. So, how did the kids get into wrestling in the first place? Did you push them, or? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I pushed them. I, well, I don't want to say pushed them. I uh, I was raised in a home with four brothers. I was the only girl, and all four of my brothers wrestled. And uh, when I met my husband, he was a cowboy. And so he had nothing understanding of wrestling. And so um, there was a wrestling uh, team, like kind of like a mat men. And uh, <clears throat> I took the kids there and we started, uh, they started wrestling and they wrestled all the time. Uh, from, you know, from when they were little up until high school when so, so you have a little history in it, yeah. And you just promoted that, keep on going. Yep. And then you now this is a big deal. Yes, it is. Because he has a potential of beating even more. Yes. It'd be very difficult they, difficult to break his record someday. Yeah, that that's you know I am so proud of him that that he uh, he's made it this far, and you know the team 
it, you know, when you get out there on the mat, it's one person. <clears throat> but far as, you know, your team is there for you every day. And, I, you know, each team member pushing him and him pushing them to make, you know, better. Uh, they've got the, personally myself, they have the best team this year they've had in a long time. And give a shout out to the team and how about the coaching staff? Oh, yeah, the coaches, um, Mr. Garfield is awesome. Um, I'm happy that he decided to come to our school. It's, it's helped our wrestling mat men. Uh, we've gone from a small group up to a very large group right now. And, you know, you never know when they're that little. You know, you have no idea that they're going to do this. You know, and, but once they get wrestling and they just get it in their, you know, get it in their blood or get it in their system, it's like they don't want to stop. You know, they want to get out there and perform and, and beat that guy and make, you know, have our school. Be proud of our school, too.